Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Let's go to the book of Psalms, uh, chapter number 143, and we are going to look at verse number 10. The Bible says, Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. I remember as a young Christian reading the Bible and First time I read the phrase where Jesus said, um, they that have ears, let him hear. And then as I read through the Gospels, you know, there were so many moments where he would tell a parable or a story and uh, nobody understood it. It just, just seemed like nobody understood it. And it was only the disciples that had enough curiosity to stick around afterward and ask Jesus, please tell us, tell us what this means. What, what is it that you just said while everybody else just walked away, not understanding the parable? <laughs> Frankly, it seemed like they didn't really care to know, to know or to understand. And I think that is a, a very... Um, very profound thing here found in Psalm 143, verse 10, where David, the psalmist, is saying, teach me. Because, and then later on in the verse, it, it says, lead me, right? I think most people just want to be led by God, but they don't want to be taught by God. And that that was reflective even in the, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ's ministry, earthly ministry, it seemed like not very many people cared to truly understand his teaching or to know his teaching. They just wanted him to lead. They wanted him to come overthrow the Romans, set up his kingdom, you know, be the, the prophesied Messiah that the, uh, the prophets foretold, uh, you know, and, and then just, just set up the kingdom again, again and, and, and get rid of the Romans. That's all they wanted. They just wanted leadership. They wanted him to lead, but, but they didn't want a teacher. And let me tell you, if you want a deeper relationship with Christ and a deeper relationship with the Word, who, by the way, is Christ. Let's not forget that, John 1.1. 1, 1. The Word was, uh, was God. The Word is, uh, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word is God, and, and also the Word was made flesh. So the Word is Jesus Christ. You want a deeper relationship with the Word, Jesus Christ, then we have to be teachable if we're going to do that. One of my uh, former pastors from uh, a number of years ago, he has since uh, gone on to heaven, an older gentleman, and he used to always say that uh, everybody is my teacher. And he... Uh, he really, uh, really taught that to uh, to his church and and, and and to everybody. Had uh, multiple sermons referring to that. Everybody is my teacher, which means that even if it's a small child that is younger than me, a fraction of my age, there is still something that that child can teach me. Everybody has something that I can learn from, and he. Uh, he taught the importance of having a teachable spirit. <clears throat> and it always stuck with me, you know, ever since then. Uh, it, that, that, that philosophy has always stuck with me. And, I, and I've always tried to be a teachable person uh, because that is the, the fastest way you can grow is to be teachable. Uh, uh, you know, and... and Christ, again, during his earthly ministry, but, but really even right now, uh, while he's in heaven, is constantly through his word trying to teach us. But I'm afraid more often than not, we just want to be led, but we don't want to be taught. And let me tell you, if that's, if that's our attitude, it's going to stunt our growth spiritually. It's going to um, limit our relationship with God if all we want is just, well, just, just lead me. God, just tell me what to do. Just show me where to go. You know, uh, uh, tell me what job I should take. Tell me what decision I should make. And, and, and meanwhile, there's so many gold nuggets here 
that we can learn from and be taught. And, and some of it, I understand, some of it stings because maybe maybe it pours a little vinegar on our sins, right? Uh, and uh, uh, some of it may be, may be even a little boring, like the genealogies. And let me tell you, as I try to become teachable and study the Bible, I love the genealogies now because I see the purpose of the genealogy. So there's so much stuff in here. And listen, as, as a Christian, we should want more than just to be led by God. In fact, be, before we can effectively be led by God, we have to learn to be teachable and be taught by God. Teach me, O Lord. Teach me to do thy will. Teach me. Right here. Be like David. Have a teachable spirit and let God teach you. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.